Here we're going to mention some things that you can and cannot bake. Uh, first up, we have liquid Sculpey or liquid Fimo. I don't have Fimo, but um, it's the same stuff basically. It's just liquid clay. That's all it is. So yes, it's it's polymer clay, not regular clay, but just, it's polymer clay, liquid. So you can bake it. Treat it exactly like you would your polymer clay. So you can bake that any time of day. And no, it does not dry clear. It's translucent, which is semi-clear, but it will not go clear no matter what you do. Um, when you have your little pieces of wood or wood bowls that you use for cookie sheet, cutting board, plates, bowls, whatever's wooden, you can bake those no problem. Even if you use a wood stain pin and you stain it, you can still bake it. it it's no problem. It won't kill you at all. You can bake toothpicks. A lot of times people use toothpicks inside um, clay critters to put the head onto the body and it won't hurt it at all. You cannot cook or bake um, triple thick and uh oh, you're gonna look at me funny because it's my old one. All right, either kind of triple thick. You cannot bake it. After it's baked and cooled, whatever your piece is, then you glaze it. Whatever kind of glaze you have. Glaze is glaze and um, it is after it's completely baked and cooled, then you would put this on. It acts as a sealant. It'll make it a lot stronger. Keep tiny pieces from falling off as easy. Um, I use this all the time. You guys should know that. Um, that. Don't bake it, okay? And then super glue. Don't bake super glue. Don't bake Elmer's glue. They do not bake well. Elmer's glue will only bubble and just look awful. And it can burn too. It won't kill you from the fumes, but it's not good. And don't bake... Um, paint any kind of paint you don't I don't know that there's any kind of paint out there that you can bake so don't bake those if you have let me pull them down pearl X pigments you can put those in the clay and in the oven that's no problem won't hurt anything and other than that um, your little glass bottles and stuff if you wanted to bake these without the cork it would bake up just fine Remember, you're, you're baking on very low temperatures, so don't stress too much. It won't burn a lot of stuff if you just have it on low. That'll make a lot of, of plastic soft, but it shouldn't burn them if you have it very low. You can even, um, I don't have a tutorial yet, but I should. You can even take a big pin. This isn't a big, but it's a pin. You can take a plastic big pin and take out the ink that middle ink thing and wrap it with clay you can even bake that and then harden it when it comes out might be a little squishy the the plastic might be a little squishy so let it cool down completely before you mess with it and it'll harden right back up and you put the uh, the ink you know the thing down the middle and um, you can bake your pins like that too so that's some of the stuff you can and can't bake oh here's one that's in some of my videos I use tiny plastic beads for eyeballs sometimes and they're just seedless plastic beads real cheap but when you when you put those inside the clay even if they melt a teeny tiny bit as long as you're not pressing on them they're not going to lose their shape or anything so it's perfectly fine to if you have a couple seed beads for eyeballs or nose it won't hurt it and you can do that some of them are even glass so those work even the same but um the plastic ones are fine 